when we're taking over, I feel like we're all the dead presidents coming alive and everybody just looking at us like, oh my God, who are these people? And it's exciting because they've never seen this before. It's like a random marathon going on. It's literally like the greatest feeling. Like imagine getting on a, on a highway with a bunch of cars. The cars cannot say or do anything. Like now we take over, like I, you feel like we're the boss. That's really how, that's really how I feel. It feels amazing to see everyone from all races, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, all races come together to do just one thing and ride a bike. That's more powerful than anything. My name is Jonathan Edwards, J. Miles, as many of y'all may know me as. And I'm from Fordham Road, Fordham Road slash Dykeman area. I chose to take the front wheel off because I wasn't a person who was into, who was fond of doing all the seat hopping and all the jumping to the seat, doing all that trick stuff. I always had the distance with my wheel up. It was just one, one, one day I just said, I don't need this wheel, just took it off. The goal for that in that moment was to do something that nobody would even think about doing. I like to do things that nobody else can do. How do I view bike life? I view it as a big family. A big family that is just Yeah, but like one of them like one of them, you know, dysfunctional TV families you'll see on, on the sitcoms. It's just a lot of characters within it. A lot of positive energy within it. And I, I love it. I just, I just embrace it. I go by Curly. I started off by Curly Sue, but I'm comfortable with Curly. Yeah, I grew up in Manhattan, in the Lower East Side, my whole life. I've lived here 30 years. In 2017, I was walking to the store and I seen, I think like three guys willying. And I was like, oh shit, I definitely want to learn how to willy. And one of the guys stopped and he was like, oh, take my Instagram. They're going to be doing a ride out. We ended up linking up to ride. And that was like one of the first ride outs that I went to. And I came and I, yo, I remember I was, I, I was a little embarrassed because I didn't have a bike that everybody else had. I had like the skinny little Cannondale, like with little skinny wheels, the tape on the, on the handlebars were coming off and everything. Like I was embarrassed. I was like, damn, like everybody got these cool ass bikes and I'm just here like, it was cool. It was kind of like a vibe. So after that, I was like, all right, I need to get myself a bike. I ended up saving up and buying my first bike. And that's when it really started out. My name is Oblox. I'm from New York City. Rode in Manhattan and now I ride in the Bronx. Back in 2009 to 2012, I was sponsored by a scooter company. Then it came to a point where my pops used to own a few dirt bikes and he taught me how to ride. So being that we couldn't ride in New York and it was always a situation with the cops taking our bikes and everything, I picked up a pedal bike and taught myself how to wheelie. So it was kind of similar to me on a dirt bike, just with no engine. New York bike life is different in many ways. The biggest thing I can say is, this is straight raw talent. These kids didn't grow up with a silver spoon in New York, you know, and it's hard to ride a bike in New York. It's a growing community. Seeing more kids come outside each and every day on a bike, it's just about getting everybody outside and getting how much it's grown since we first started coming outside in big packs. The energy of a ride out is, it's like being at a baseball game and your favorite team winning. That's how it is. That's how I look at other people when you see us coming down the block. So even if it's 10 of us, 100 of us, you're gonna get excited seeing this. If you have somebody on the seat, you have somebody surfing, you have somebody swerving through the pack. Riding around in the streets, just like having everybody's attention. Like, we have everybody's attention in general. And as soon as they see there's a female, like, everybody's mouth just drops. Like, everyone's always focused, like, oh, look, she's doing it too. Like, guys, girls. And it's even better when the girls do it because it's like, 
one, you can be doing it, obviously. And two, like, it makes them even more excited. Like, it makes me even more excited when a girl's cheering me on because it's like, yeah, girl, like, we're girls. Like, this is not something that you see all the time. So it's, it's definitely dope having everybody's reaction, like, always going crazy. When I first started, I was one of the only girls that was really writing. And the community was just like, all right, it was me and the guys. So, like, it was just like, whatever, I'm just doing whatever the guys are doing or, like, wherever they're going. But now it's a little different since there are a little more, like, there's a bunch of girls now. It's a lot different because the community that I'm trying to manifest, I guess, is I want more of the female community to come out. Like, I feel like since I've been writing and a couple of other girls were writing, I've been getting more messages of, like, girls, like, you really inspired me to come out and you know, or you inspired me to get back on my bike or you know, I see you doing this and and I, I've been with you since you started not knowing how to do anything and look at where you at now. So I feel like it's a little different for me being a female especially. Like I'm, I'm here to inspire now, like I want the girls to come out. Now I'm about to go to Cali to go to all women's right out. That was not happening. I feel like the more women are seeing females on bikes and all of this, like, they're feeling more comfortable. Like, we're, 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 we're inspiring them. No matter what state, what country, I consider us all family. You're on a bike, I support you all the way. Bike life is an uplifting spirit. Bike spring bonds been going around probably way before I even been riding. And that's a huge statement in bike life because no matter what gang, what race, what nationality, what religion you you are, when you're on a bike, we're all family. We don't care who you are. We ride together, we stay together, we help out each other. If you need a dollar and all I have is two, you're gonna get one. You all won't both gonna have a dollar. That's how it goes in the bike life. We all look after each other, we all support each other in any way possible. So that's what it means. That's the huge meaning of bike brings balls. It's actually dope to be like, that's my brother, you know what I'm saying? When I mean my brother, I mean my bike life brother. That's my family. My mom ended up passing in 2019. It took until she seen me in Times Square on a billboard for everyone else to realize my worth. I wanted to cry, but I was outside in front of everybody. <laughs> like, so I'm like, you ain't gonna make me cry right now. I'm gonna hold my tears up a little bit. I'm gonna wait till later. I let my later. What? She took, she she sat there, she sat in front of 41st and Broadway for two hours, just looking at the screen. She's screaming, and the construction workers walking past, looking at her like she's crazy. She's like, oh, that's my son right there. Like, that's why I'm going crazy. And she, and they was like, not many people, not many parents could see their child on a billboard. And it's like, it's like, damn. That's one of the best memories I could actually say I've ever had with the bikes, is my mother seeing that, and she's just ecstatic over it. Like, she's just, wow. Cause I was the only, she was the only one who, who supported me for the bikes, you know? Bike life changed my life for the better, and I found peace with it. I found peace and happiness. My bike is my freedom, it's my legs. I'm always on my bike. It takes me so many places that I've never seen before. I traveled so many places just because of my bike. If I'm having a rough day, no matter the weather, I go outside and it's like I enjoy it just because I'm on my bike. We come together to ride a bike in peace. That's, that's more powerful than anything, anything. Everybody come together for, for peace and just unity and just same expression, same same feeling. That's all it's about. It's bigger than just art. It's bigger than a sport. It's bigger than an exercise. It's all those words just wrapped in one, but it's just something bigger that comes from it that I just love going after. Love going. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe I. May, it'll. Maybe it's a new new path to something.